Hi ladies, <clears throat> happy new year to everyone. Hi, this is Faith and this is really a test run today. I'm just really kind of creating this content to see um, about this particular discussion that I want to have. Um, I want to say happy new year to everyone and this is my first time since the new year came in that I'm going to be creating um, an opportunity to dialogue with the ladies. And with that being said, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you've reached Fashion and Fitness Done Right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. I wanted to um, just acknowledge everyone today. I hope that in this new year that the joy you have joy in your heart and peace in your home. Really, I do. That's, that's really what I do. I really believe that for you. Okay, today... I was actually going to, now we have to be mindful that today is the, um, it is the 26th, excuse me guys, I'm reaching for something to clean my glasses, I can't see. Today is January the 26th, it's a Tuesday, right? In the year of our Lord, 2021, goodbye to 2020, 2021, this is the reality, we're in a new year and we have a new focus and so um, you might not have seen me for the last few weeks <clears throat> and that's because <clears throat> Excuse me. I was making a total dedication to the Lord for the last few weeks. For 21 days, I had spent my time in His presence, and I was I, I made the sacrifice to be obedient by turning down my plate and seeking His face. And so, in times like this, there is no distractions. There is nothing that you put before Him. He says, when we put things before Him, that those things become our idols, and so. In that time of sacrifice, I had to let YouTube go as well. And so I'm grateful that I was able to get through it. It um, blessed me in many ways because on January the 1st, I weighed in. And that's what this whole conversation today is going to be about. It's going to be about um, rededication, recalibrating, refreshing, and reinventing ourselves. And um, on January the 1st, when I weighed in for the mark of the new year, I weighed in at, I'm just keeping it real, at 241 pounds. Before that, I was almost 300 pounds. You know, I when I originally made my channel, it was fashion and fitness done right. And what was so funny, most of my videos were about fitness. And as the weight started coming down, the love of my fashion grew stronger and stronger. And I began to change it and I started putting more information about fashion and less information about fitness but make no mistake about it it's still fashion and fitness done right and <clears throat> with that being said I was almost 300 pounds I put up pictures because I always want I don't want the I don't want it to be um pretense I want you to know that you know I really struggled um but at the bottom and I think I made a dedication for a little over maybe year, a year and a half, maybe two years. And the lowest point I got down to was 215 pounds. <clears throat> now, if you can see, 215 pounds for me is comfortable. But I was still 35 pounds shy of my goal weight, which my goal weight for me would have been 180 pounds. I would be a size 12, and I think that would have been perfect, comfortable, um been able to shop in the girl stores and in the adult uh, and in the plus size I would have been able to go and shop ev pretty much comfortably everywhere um, but that wasn't the reason why I was doing it. I was doing it more for the health health purposes and so when I weighed in on January the 1st 2021 I weighed in at 241 pounds and so I had picked up quite a bit of weight from 215 now, I knew that I was working out, but I was coming on doing a segment here for a workout and a segment there. But trust me, I was not being faithful. I think my true last workout when I went to really look was September the 10th, 2020. And so I have literally I had regained 26 pounds. But the thing, on the 1st, January the 2nd through the 22nd, I... the 
the bishop, my bishop had called a spiritual fast for the entire church. And so we went on a spiritual fast for 21 days. And <clears throat> I didn't really ever want to do a New Year's resolution. I keep looking down because I want to make sure I make all the points that I have to make today. I never wanted to do a New Year's resolution. That was not my intent. I just wanted to embark on doing better with my living. I wanted to have do better in my living, healthy living, and a healthier lifestyle. And so I wanted to follow the three R's, which were the three R's that I created from my vision statement that I did not um, talk to you about the last time. I think I quoted three other R's, but these are the three R's for my vision statement. I wanted us to, re I want to recalibrate this season. I want to refresh and I want to reinvent because we are worth it. I want to go to my vision statement and I'm going to put it up for you as I read it. In my vision statement, the vision statement of the Done Right Enterprise, it's the vision is to impact, to encourage and uplift the young or the older women, which you know on this particular channel, our focus is truly the seasoned woman with style. But if the young woman comes on and she needs to be encouraged and this channel does it for her, so be it. She's welcome because we want to encourage one another, right? I want the woman to believe that despite their obstacles, there is still time to recalibrate, refresh, and reinvent their lives solely because they believe they're worth it. My prayer is to be a strand in their braid of hope. You get that? Strand in their braid of hope and determination to achieve their goals, all while loving on them, always in all ways. And that is my agenda, to be that strand of hope that, um, that's why I said, you know, sometimes when you I, we come on the line and, um, you know, I'm being a little silly because laughter is a form of medicine, just like crying is a form of medicine. You know, there has to be balance. Um, I have a niece that's a life coach and um, I was, she, she was on the other day on, um, I think it was the Today Show. And I never really, her name is Yasmin Cheyenne. And I never really listened, you know, to her. She has a podcast. I never really listened to a podcast, but I was really blessed by some of the things she said because she was talking about spending time balancing all that we've been going through in, during 9-11, excuse me, during the pandemic during the pandemic, all the different things that we've been going through. Many of us have been going through um, loss of loved ones. In fact, loss of life, death. In fact, um, just yesterday, uh, we they laid my aunt, my father's sister to rest. And, and I, I just couldn't do it. I, somebody has to understand. I just couldn't do it. I didn't realize how many people were lost until I saw my nephew post on Facebook one day. He was just commenting. He was saying, I just lost so many people I love. It's been about 30 people. And I didn't realize the number. Now, that doesn't mean that they're all my family. It could be some friends of his, but I began to realize we are going through. So we have to deal with the grief and the mental health of all of it and the spiritual burnout and you know, we, I just wanted us to really just, I just really wanted to take that minute and breathe completely healed and completely whole, but it must be balanced. When I need to cry, I want to cry. So I understood this is why the weight gain came because when I wanted to grieve, I wanted to grieve. I wanted to eat. Um, I wanted to cry. I, I want, I know as a Christian, I know especially for those family members that love the Lord and were in him when they went to sleep. I know that they're not gone. I know that they went on because the Bible says absent from the body is present with the Lord. I know that they're with him. They're, they're, they're resting in him now and there's peace, but it does still hurt because we miss them. I understand the process, but the grief is real. It's still the same. And so I'm trying to, I was trying to balance it all and not become overwhelmed where there's no focus. And so that's where the weight gain came. That's where I'm really trying to get to. And so in the process of the sacrifice of the spiritual fast, of turning down our plates and getting in the presence of the Lord and praying and spending time with him and even pulling away from the YouTube channel, um, 
when the fast was over, I weighed in and, um, you know, it, it's always a, a physical blessing, but it was more to me a spiritual blessing and a strengthening tool for me than anything. But I did eventually, I did end up losing, um, 10, almost 11 pounds. And so I'm, I'm, it was again, again, a blessing. And so now my mind is recalibrating and refreshing and reinventing the focus of my exercise. And so these are some of the things that I want to get back into my intimate fasting. I'm going to, I've already started, I should say, back into my intimate, intermittent fasting where I go for um, hours a day. Normally, I don't break my fast till after 12 noon and I will go between, there's an eight hour period where you don't eat. So my period of eating would be from 12, between 12 and 8, and after 8, I don't eat anymore, and I will go all the way back around to the next day at 12 noon. That's an intermittent fasting, so it leaves the body about 16 to 18 hours that it just gets to just heal itself. Really, that's what it's doing. It's healing itself, but... Um, <clears throat> And then I want to be more conscious of my portion, my portion control. And the blessing about the fast was that, you know, during the fast, you're not really eating anything. And during our fast, we went from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But I think um, my husband and I kind of went from 6 8. We went from 6 p.m. to... 8 p.m. In that period of time, we would have, once we broke the fast at 6 p.m., we would have something to eat, or maybe from 6 to 9, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., we ate in that small window, and after that, we wouldn't eat until we came back around, to, and it wasn't intentionally, it's just that we didn't have a desire to eat anymore, so all that to say is that it helped me to get the, my mind back into focus, and so in this season, I don't want to focus. That's why I said I was going to create this segment to be a diary of a really mad black woman because I was so annoyed at myself. I was so frustrated that I had literally gained that weight. I was back at 240. I think I what I said, 241, 241. I was back at 240. I didn't want to be at 241. And so even now being at the 230, 231 mark, I'm confident that I'll, I'll, fall back in line. So instead I made the um, segment today was the, the, before you make the resolution, I need you to watch this. And so I want you to just remember that it's not about a resolution. It's, uh, it's just about a commitment to do better. Let's just start with that. Let it be a commitment to do better. That when you think on um, your health and your wellness, that you will make the commitment to do better. I don't think I'm going to air this live because I'm kind of, this was really supposed to be a, um, a, a test, a test run. But if the information is accurate, guys, you saw me on Monday, right after my workout, I was just doing a test run. But if the information that I wanted to put in here for you to be a blessing to you, that you would be encouraged that you will remember to recalibrate, refresh, and reinvent, that you will remember to be faithful to yourself in 2021 and be good to yourself. Because what I'm learning about being someone who's always a give, giving out, if we are depleted in everything, we have nothing to give. You understand? So we have to refuel. We have to rebuild. We have to um, reinvent it so that we can be a blessing to somebody else. I pray that this would be a blessing. I pray that it would encourage your heart, sister. I truly do love you. I truly do love you. I truly do love this channel. I pray that you are encouraged and remember to always support the other sister, you know? <clears throat> be the sister that will come along and see another sister's crown tilted, fix it, and don't have to tell anybody. That's what we should be doing always be an encouragement. I want to thank you for coming to my channel. I pray that in some way you have been encouraged. I pray that you have been inspired. And most importantly, I pray that you have been motivated to motivate somebody else because that's the key. Remember to be well and know that you can do all things through Christ because he has given us the strength because great is the he that is within us than anything will ever come up against in the world. And you be well. God bless you.